Strange burrows have been popping up out in the woods. Only question is, whatever culprit is digging out on the trails, can I catch it? What's up guys, welcome back to Can I Catch It, the nature show all about finding a wildlife adventure right at home in your own backyard. Do you have a taste for adventure and like exploring? Subscribe to my channel and come with me as I explore my wild backyard. I am so excited to release this video because while we've worked with tons of bizarre creatures from camouflaged assassin bugs to bizarre mole crabs to giant spiders, never have I come close to anything quite as strange as what I found today. See, we've been building trails out in the woods to get better access to all the different habitats that it has to offer. But back in a very overgrown section, we've found a hidden swampy area. And as you'd expect, near sources of water comes a wide variety of life. Most recently, we've discovered that weird mud towers have been popping up along the trail in this area. And I'm not sure what's making them. I know that wolf spiders build burrows, certain types of subterranean wasps build burrows, and certain rodents are known to build burrows near water. But none of those burrows look anything like these mud chimneys. I don't know about you guys, but I am super excited to find out what's been digging out in the woods. So, like I've said, there's a wide variety of things that could be living down under the ground in these burrows. I did some research online, and the results are shocking. You'll never believe what kind of animal builds burrows like these. Leave your predictions in the comments below, and let's see if you're correct. It turns out that different species of terrestrial crayfish build mud towers like this. I had never heard of anything like this before, and I'd never actually seen crayfish in my backyard before, so I was gonna put that to the test. According to the internet, if these are in fact crayfish holes, Burrows like these are not very deep in areas where the water table is high. And as a matter of fact, the water table is extremely high near this swampy area. As I was digging holes to plant these bricks that I'm using as stepping stones because the ground is very unstable, I found that the sides of the hole leak water because the water table is so high. So, if the internet's correct, we should be able to find a crayfish. Now, I'm not sure what time of day these guys are active, or whether they stay in their burrows at certain times of the day. I'm not even sure if they stay in the same burrows for extended periods of time. So, I just tried to find as fresh a burrow as I could, and decided that I was going to dig it up. Let's see what I can find. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Either I didn't dig deep enough, which I don't think was the case, or this burrow was vacant which means it's back to the drawing board for us. I'm gonna have to try and find an even fresher burrow if we're gonna hope to catch whatever culprit's been digging out on the trails. A few days passed and we had some rain. Aside from the burning question in the back of my head of what is digging on the trails, I had all but forgotten about this project. I went out on the trails to go search for debris fallen from the rainstorm when I noticed this, a fresh mud tower. Quickly, Thinking this is my last chance to catch one of these crayfish, if it is a crayfish, in the act, I grabbed a shovel and started digging. Because of the crisscross roots underneath the mud, digging was not an easy task, but I was able to get the burrow out. I waited, and finally, I saw movement. Look at that, right there. What is that? I grabbed it and took it out. It's the right shape to be a crayfish, but it's awful small. I washed it off in the standing water nearby, and guys, have a look at this. We have caught a terrestrial crayfish. I have never seen anything like this before in my life. I've caught crayfish in streams before, but never have I seen burrows like this that had a hidden crustacean at the bottom. I continued my research online and, and found out that this crayfish is probably a juvenile devil crayfish, given by the shape, the color, and the location, there aren't very many terrestrial crayfish in my area. I could be wrong, if any of you guys are crayfish experts, by all means correct me in the comments because I'd really like to know what this guy is. But my best guess is a devil crayfish and these guys tend to make their mud towers near sources of water. Very similar to this guy right here. And they get one heck of a lot bigger than this, up to even 4 inches in length, and can give a really nasty pinch as full grown adults. If I am right and these guys are in fact devil crayfish, they are nocturnal, so if I came out in the dead of night, I might be able to catch one of these guys leaving their burrows. These guys are omnivores, so they'll eat any kind of organic matter, but typically plants, 
and decaying stuff. So these guys are kind of like the cleaning crew of the swampy area at night. I released him back in the dirt patch where I found him, and he went right back to digging himself into the mud. What a fascinating encounter. I cannot believe that all this time I've lived here, we had a whole population of terrestrial crayfish, something I hadn't even previously heard of, living in my own backyard. It just goes to show, guys, as you're exploring in your backyard, you never know what you might find. So make sure to leave no stone unturned, because you never know what you might find. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next week for another episode. But until then, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.